welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face tutorial using the brand Collection and I'm honestly so happy with how this look turned out. So I decided to film it for you guys to see. For my base I am using the Primed and Ready Primer and this illuminates and revitalises your skin for a silky smooth base. I am now using the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer by Collection in the shade Fair 1 and this is to carve out around my eyebrows just to make them look a lot neater. Now that my face is primed and I have carved around my eyebrows, I'm using the Lasting Perfection Weightless Foundation. My first impressions of this foundation is that it definitely looks so flawless on the skin and it feels really weightless. It lasts up to 16 hours as I filmed this a few days ago and it literally lasted the whole day and all night. And it also minimises imperfections. I'm now using the contour kit. This is the Sculpt Contour and Shimmer Kit from Collection and I'm using this as the base for my eyes as I just wanted like a simple bronze colour to go in the crease. And I'm suck off for putting too much product on at once so I am literally just dabbing it back and forth into the palette and adding more into the crease and blending it out using a brush and then I like to dab out the sort of outer corners with my finger to make sure there's no harsh lines. And because I'm doing quite a glam look, I'm using the collection Glam Crystals Glitter Glue as a base for my glitter so it doesn't fall off throughout the day and night. I've never actually used glue before, but after doing this, I'm definitely going to use it every time I apply glitter to my eyes as it makes it stick a lot better and there's less fallout and also it stays on your eyes for literally 24 hours or until you actually like remove it yourself. I like to apply this in a sort of half cut crease to my eye and then I'm applying the Glam Crystals Face and Body Glitter in the colour Gold Digger 3 and this is like a really nice gold shimmery tone and I am applying this to the inner half of my cut crease. Usually while applying a glitter to my eyes I would actually do this with my head facing upwards so that none falls out onto my face but as I am filming this for you guys to see I need to be head on with the camera but the glue definitely does help with less fallout and then the fallout that is there is easy to just brush away with a fluffy brush. So now I've put on the amount of crystals I would like on my eye, I am now using the Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner on my lower lash line and I'm just going in gently underneath and dabbing on a bit of the Dazzling Gel Liner. I was honestly so shocked with how good these products were as I haven't used collection in a very long time. If you guys would like to try out any of these products or you're interested in any of them, I'll make sure to leave the link down below to their website and I'll also link all of the products I've used. And I'm now just grabbing a clean fluffy brush to brush away any of the fallout. Once I've finished brushing away all the fallout, I am now moving back to my eyes. I'm using the Glam Crystals eyeshadow palette and I'm using this sort of red tone to blend out the eyeshadow I have on my lid. And this eyeshadow palette contains six colours. It enables you to create a subtle sparkle for daytime and a more dramatic look for the evening. Now I've finished my eyeshadow, I'm using the Lash Surge Mascara by Collection and I'm applying this on both my top and bottom eyelashes. With mascara I do tend to apply more than one coat as I do like it to look really dark and thick, however this mascara I only needed one coat as it did the job straight away. Moving back onto my face, I'm using the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes on my Cupid Spow. It's really creamy and easy to blend out and it honestly looks so flawless on your skin. I'm now going back in with the Sculpt Contour and Shimmer Palette and I'm using this powder to sculpt and add depth to my facial contours. 
I usually like to contour my face and bronze my face a lot however I'm not actually tanned at the moment so I'm adding it onto my cheekbones for the chiselled sort of look and I'm also going to add some onto my forehead but I'm going to make sure it's blended out. I was so surprised by this product it was so easy to blend out and it was also the perfect colour it wasn't too orangey which is what I usually find with products like this. using the same palette however I'm using the highlight shade to highlight above my cheekbones, the tip of my nose and also my cupid's bow. So the last product I'm using is the Velvet Kiss Moisturising Lip Cream in the shade Dream Boat 8. It feels really really nice on your lips and it also smells really really good. I'll make sure to leave all of the links down below for all the products and I'll also leave the link to their website down below so you can have a look at all the variety of products they have on there. I was really pleased with this makeup look and I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon with another video.